yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a great way to spend a Friday lunchtime. It's also quite entertaining and you get to see some different views on different issues. I think it's a good concept uh, because we've had a, a large turnout for the past couple of debates and I think it proves that people our age are interested in the, the bigger issues and they, um, they're, they're obviously interested enough to come to Chopping School. Yeah, definitely. Uh, especially for people that want to improve their public speaking skills and confidence levels mm -hmm. as well, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it gets them to think about uh, issues that perhaps they would have otherwise overlooked. Yeah, I think um, it's, it's good to uh, not necessarily come to a conclusion, but work your way through these moral mazes. And it, it's really just... It's, it's just good to um, get your brain thinking. Mm -hmm. um, usually serious and uh, controversial topics, uh, which is sometimes get a bit heated but we're in debating, but next week we're having a, a funny debate, so it should be interesting. I don't know, it's a, it's a whole of, a variety of issues, um, such as abortion, or I did a debate on um, trans trans people, but also stuff about gun control, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, probably to prove a point, so hopefully I can improve my public speaking skills and just general public confidence and performance skills, as well as researching new issues. More to inspire, because the point of debate is uh, that you could argue the other way equally as, equally as passionately. It doesn't matter what your personal views are. So yeah, I would say it would be nice to think that other people would be interested. To I think debate societies have been um, quite prevalent through schools and universities for quite a while. Yeah, definitely. Um, maybe not so much in state schools, but we've planned on doing a debate at King's School against their year groups, and also in our extracurricular uh, fourth period on a Wednesday, we do Model UN, which includes a lot of debating in school. Uh, I find it interesting because you get to hear a lot of points that you never really knew about and a lot of different arguments that you never thought you'd hear. Uh, and yeah, it's just really interesting to sit in and listen to or take part in. Well, the, 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 the motions are always thought provoking and it's interesting to see how the different sides um, introduce that argument, how they put, put it forward. Uh, their debating styles and what, and the people who tend the society what how they what they what their views are uh, well there's a Facebook page and there because of the beauty of modern social media people can vote on what motion they want to debate and then once the motion's chosen uh, people volunteer for debating for or against um, well, it's it's good to do as much wide reading as possible and listen to podcasts. Uh, Radio 4's Moral Maze is, is good. And also, if there are any interviews or talks by uh, leading specialists in that field, that you, and yeah, so it's good to get uh, different views. And you've got to you've also got to make sure that there you've also got to make sure that um, you're looking at what their counter arguments would be and how you're going to respond to that. Uh, well, first of all, you have to plan an opening statement, so either you or your debating partner will do that, and then either you or your partner will design a closing statement as well, and then I find it quite useful to research 
advantages and disadvantages to the motion that you're trying to argue and then try and form opinions and persuasive arguments based on those facts? Well, when the, when the opposing uh, side are putting their argument forward, I, I, I scribble away highlights, um, statistics or facts um, on my note, with my note, and then when it's my turn again, so my friend has said this, however, this is incorrect for the following reasons. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are to do with um, politics and everyday politics, because a lot of the people going to the club are politics students. Yeah, uh, anyone who is thoughtful and willing to think about the other side, what the other side would be. Um, it's best not to be too dogmatic with the, the way you think. Um, yeah, so if, they want, if you want to keep your mind plastic, you want to broaden your, your, um, you know, your beliefs. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think if you enjoy world issues and national issues and politics in the UK, uh, yeah, then definitely. It's good fun. I joined Debate Club because I'm already a politics student and I thought it'd be really useful for me to hear different opinions, but also to improve my public speaking skills. I have done a debate in the past and I really enjoyed researching the topic and I like the debate itself, which is it's really fun. Uh, you've got to be confident confident and passionate about the points you're making, even if it's not necessarily what you personally believe in. Um, yeah, and the whole, the whole thing is really, really interesting.